Hey guys, it's Andrea, your girl, and today I'm going to be giving you guys some ukulele lessons. I have my Luna ukulele here today, and what I'm focusing on today, not only teaching you four songs, but I'm going to be um, showing you how to play songs with capos and tips that I use because, for example, I'm going to teach you guys how to play You'll Be Back from Hamilton. And I've noticed that you can put your capo where it feels more comfortable to you if you're playing the you can sing at the same time. But sometimes you may need to put it in a slant because, I mean, maybe you need to play D7 and you can't, like, be just touching it and, you know, tips like that. So today is that... No, that's our main focus. I'm going to try to give as thorough directions as I can possibly give you guys. And yes, I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you. So, um, the first song that we're going to be learning is one of the first songs that I ever heard with this thing, a capo. I'm like, what the heck is a capo? Well, I figured out that it, um, covers the strings to make it sound like a higher note. And for stitches, you're going to want to be placing your capo on the first thread on your ukulele. And this is actually not a ukulele um, capo, it's an electric guitar one? Right? String guitar. String guitar. Steel. Steel. Electric steel guitar. And, and it was like the smallest one, so it fits the capos. Um, the ukulele. So make sure that the rubber, this black rubber part or whatever color you have, um, yours might be like a clip, but this is um, another type of capo. Put it on the first thread, which is this first little part here, and make sure it's covering all of the strings because sometimes it can be hanging off. Make sure it's like not under, just make sure it's like supporting all of the strings. And then what you're going to do on the back is you see it's supporting it like this, this is going to be flaying out and just press this down, like that. So the um, chords that you're going to need for Stitches by Shawn Mendes is A, G, and C, and, and that's it. So this is what it sounds like without it. And if I were to sing it, it would be like, you watch me breathe until I can't breathe. The original notes would be with a gap of so. This one. So that sounds better. Um, it depends on your singing voice. It just I think for majority it might work best with the first threat. But you do you. You can do whatever threat you want. I mean, I just don't think that you have such a high singing voice that you're going to need to put it on the um. Seventh, I don't think you need to put it on the seventh thread because then it'll sound like this. So, I don't think you need that. So, um, I think the first or second thread would be more preferable because the third thread, I think it's still a little bit too high. This is not on the chord. This. What happened? Oh, I see what's happening. Yeah, the first threat is definitely the way you want to go. Unless you have super high singing voice, then you could do the second. But I mean, honestly, I'm not going to do anything. You do whichever threat you want. So, the first score that we're going to be learning is A. So what you're going to do is we're going to count the strings and we're going to number the strings. So if you're a beginner watching this video and you just started, we're going to number the strings so it's easier for you. So this is one, two, three, four. So the one closest to you is one and the one farthest away from you is four. And then I think you know where two and three go unless you're in kindergarten. So the one closest to you is one. The one second closest to you is two, the one third closest to you, or second last farthest away from you is three, and the one farthest away from you is four. So, take your pointer finger 
and you're going to so this is the first thread the one that you put your clip on right here the line that's the first thread this is the second thread this is the third thread and so on so what you're going to do is you're going to take your pointer finger and put it on fret, fret. what am i saying fret 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 and put it on the first strings put the one closest to you so third third fret on the first string and then a a minor just sound like this Next is G. G is one of the more complicated ones. You're going to take your pointer finger and put it on the fourth string of the third fret. Take your middle finger and put it on the second string of the third fret. And take your ring finger and put it on the third string of the fourth and you should sound like this. I was waiting for that to be a fail. Like, <laughs> but um, and now C. C is pretty easy. It's kind of like A minor. Take your, yeah, take your pointer finger. Um, okay. If you if you're having trouble with um transitioning from chord to chord, I actually recommend doing your ring finger because then you're going to have to be like See that awkward jump there? So use your ring finger so you can just go pew, pew. So yeah, take your preferable finger, whichever is easier for you to transition. I think the ring finger is better, but you can use your pointer finger, middle finger, pinky, or thumb, whatever. Whatever you want, whatever is easiest for you, okay? And next, you're going to take our finger and put it on the fourth fret, fret of the fourth string. And C should sound like this, so basically you're just going to transition from that. So the intro is just A1, A2, 3, G2, 2 this is part one because I thought four songs in the video would be a little bit too long so today we're doing the easier beginner version so that's going to be stitches which I just taught you and now we're going to be I don't know my name is going to be I don't know my name by Grace Vanderwall so take your capo and put it on the first fret of the yeah the first fret and the chords here are so I just I taught you A minor and G, so now I'm going to be teaching M C. So the addition today is going to be F for this, because we I already taught you. So that was A, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, C, two, three, four. So all we need now is F. And it's a, it's a different pattern of notes, so F, you're going to take your middle finger, mid, middle finger, mid finger, whatever you want to call it, middle finger, <laughs> what should I call it, mid finger, middle finger, okay, take your middle finger and put it on the first, first string, third, third fret of the first string, the one closest to you. And then next, take your pointer finger and put it on the second fret, not fret, of the th third string. Yes, the one second farthest away from you. And I should sound like this. So the pattern is C, C, two, three, four, F. So 
basically I don't know my name F I don't play by the I don't know my name I don't play by the rules of the game So you say change the notes. I don't know my name. That goes high and then I don't play by the rules. And then goes like of the king. So you say I'm just trying. So that's a way you can just kind of like practice around. So yeah now I'm going to be playing you like the songs that I taught you today with with and without the um Capo, so you hear what they sound like, so. Stitches. for a couple mess ups there but now this is what it's going to sound like with capo so remember the first fret and I like to put it on a little line there because I think that's where it sounds best though
that was stitches. I think the one with um, the cap was sounded better. So now we're just gonna do, I don't know my name, but like, better version of it, so. So, um, yeah, so this is, I don't know my name. on the first fret and let's go. two to this video where I'll be teaching you Dear Theodosia and you'll be back from Hamilton which also need a capo and we will be actually playing with capo on the second thread on part two and those songs are a little bit harder so I really hope this video helped you and I'll see you next time bye especially if you're having trouble with capo so